And we're back into the kitchen. Uh, as you know, as they say, out of the frying pan into the fire. Oh, I hope you're ready for some fucking fire. More like fryers. Because shit ah. is about to get ridiculous. Oh. Ooh, wow. We're about to learn some things, uncover some Dude, things. We're about to just be like... And the game is going to, in similar parts, make more sense and so much less sense. We're going to have some context. We're going to get some context. Fun noises. That means that uh, the other world is over. Hmm. I don't know if you caught it, but the door locked. Wow. Now let's go talk to the secret president. I'm sorry, that's a world map. (laughs) And he turns to face us. Harry! Harry be like, Behold, I am a member of the Patriots. Turns out this is a Metal Gear game. <laughs> Lale lu le lo. York, turn the game console off right now. Zach, looks like we're out of the countryside and back in civilization. You got, we're always in civilization. You got internet in here? What? Well then. Welcome, York. I was like, <laughs> brother. I brought the documents. I brought as you the were. documents. Just what is going on in here? I warned you about haste. Take it slow. Bruv, I went fishing. That's the slowest thing on this entire planet. As an agent of the FBI, I'm sure. Why don't you rhyme? Why does is he rhyme? did? He just rhymes with different. Got it all wrong. He, I, no, I think that's just Michael's thing. That being first is the best. They want speed and are satisfied. Yeah, that's just Michael's thing. Rings, even if it means so says Mr. Stewart, my ass. Fucking Harry's just like this goddamn nice rhyming son of a bitch. He saw a man in space. That's the even biggest, most awful, tragic event in world history. I make use of what I see. I can get whatever I want in this way. He can't get uh, proper breathing in that throat of yours. Can't get out of that chair. You're certainly talkative today, Harry. But I didn't come here for a business lecture. Mm. Tell me everything you know. Speak. Not important. I need to live. What else is important? Timing. York. Whoa. You have a natural gift for waiting for the correct timing. Yeah? Just be I'll careful do coffee. that your haste does not ruin everything. So sex. Mr. Tillman. York, I know more than you think. That's... <laughs> How do you know these things? Carol has a locket that belongs to the murderer. I also know that this case revolves around the red seeds. But that's about it. No, you know, got an inside line on police information. That reminds me. The victim's tongues were cut out, weren't they? Weren't they bitten off specifically? Uh at least Anna's was. Yeah. Harry, I'm impressed. You gather information really well. You hacked into the FBI network, too. Amazing. Hmm. Well, I'd take I you in right now. This. Then let us close the business seminar. It's time for a history lesson instead. All right. Tell me about the history, homie. In 1492, Christopher Columbus explored the ocean blue. Hmm. I remember it as though it were yesterday, if you'll pardon the cliche. Oh, one rhyme in his entire paragraph, in his entire soliloquy, as opposed to Michael, who rhymes every fucking sentence. 
So says Mr. Stewart. What a little rebel this old man is. What a little rebel. Is this how he gets his throat fucked up? Curious child. I saw it being constructed day after day. I'm not sure why. He looked like a young Quint. Or a young Quint's father. Conspicuous fellow. But when I the top, he has something to prove. He has nothing to lose. There were soldiers there, all wearing gas masks. Oh yeah! What the fuck? We're gonna gas this entire fucking town. What a fucking j mong. Yeah, what a what a fucking weird ass animation. When I got outside again, the purple fog was spreading. Oh, okay. I covered my nose and mouth and ran home. Cover your nose and mouth, I but run! <laughs> Yeah, bells are supposed to stop at 12. Yeah, bells. Not the clocks, the bells. Primal instincts as a saying. That's a pipe, not a branch. Got him. G raincoat killer's identity. Soko. The following morning, I awoke surrounded by the entrance was blocked. You fucking, how'd you get in here? You goddamn bastard, son of a bitch. Say that again. We never tell our children about what happened. But 
These things find a way out of even the tightest of lips. I'm like right now. Parts. People only speak of the killer in the red raincoat, which is where the legend of the raincoat killer comes from. I see. I see. Quite a story. But that's all it is. After the incident, the gas seeped into the soil of the town. Even today, when it rains, the minute amount is released. That's why I never take my mask off when I'm outside. The mixing on your lines are fucking wild, Mr. Yeah. They're weird, yeah. He's like... Someone who is badly affected. It's like... Oddly weird about it. Sometimes they're clear, sometimes it's robotic. Yeah. Yeah, it's there like a connection between the red seeds and the gas then. This is just my own presumption. The seeds and the gas have a similar effect on our nervous systems. I believe someone figured that out and decided to use it. Or it mm. could just be nature's way of getting back at us humans. Alright, so a lot's kind of clicking in. Attention! The Thomas Alarm! <laughs> I don't know if I'm necessarily confused, but I definitely think that things are a little fucky. Just as you suspected, everything I have told you is gibberish. I never hacked into the FBI server, and I certainly know nothing. Ah, just uh, you just came to listen to an old man, didn't you? You didn't hear anything too crazy, now, did you? You know? You know? What? Let me ask you one thing. Then. He's, he's trying to be cheeky. You're a businessman. You know? It's like... Mm -hmm. You must be after something in return for giving me this information. You are it's like, you At heard nothing. We must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. But that still does not justify murder. Remember this. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I hate that uh, now I'm thinking that Raincoat Killer is like the assistant dude. Mm -hmm. But I'm also thinking it might be Thomas. I'm thinking the Raincoat Killer is like an entity that lives within the, It's like a psychosis that lives within the sea. The seeds are the Raincoat Killers. And then, like, pe when people eat the seeds to, like, try to, like, mess with this, like, the, the legend, the wrinkle killer, like, possesses them. Well, I think it must more be, like, it gets rid of your inhibitions, and then you mix that with the purple fog that has seeped into the soil that makes people snap and want to kill everyone. Well, that's the, the that, the, that fog is what's made the seeds. Something like that. And... Whoa! And of course, you were just listening to an old man, right? Right. That's basically what he was doing. York, we found Thomas. Where? Uh, he's at his house, right? <laughs> we How did we, you know that? we found him at his house. Good timing, Emily. Good timing. Uh, whatever. Just get in. George is you drive though. Already. Let's get a move on. Whenever I go places, I need to be the one who drives. Uh, Emily knows this. Back things are fine. Finally, we're on the tail end of the fucking... We're like in the downward slide here, so to speak. I fucking hope if this... If this... Perry, don't give me that look. By the way, that's the, uh... That's basically the only uh, information you'll get about the shadows. Is that they're just... They're the other people in this town that exist that are going crazy when the when it rains. That was amazing. Okay. Yeah, there are the other people in this town that exist when, uh, when it starts to rain and they go crazy. That's ridiculous. It's true. Ain't exactly magic, 
It was the military. It's always the military. So we've just been shooting people, gunning people down. Innocent bystanders who were just happen to be victims of a chemical attack. Yeah. Or at least that's the conclusion I draw. Maybe they're the same people from the 50, or 50 years ago. They're like shadows of them. Because yeah. they, they are dressed in pretty old-timey clothes. Yeah, I mean... So it could be that, too. But it, it's a mixture of both. It's not just, like, a schizophrenic rape. Mm. I see. Of course this game would take, like, a shitty kind of cop out to that. What? It would be a shitty cop-out if it was just like, York is the killer and he just imagines being an FBI agent or something. It's deeper than that. Mm. Think the military approach is a cheap cop-out? No, I, no, I'm talking... Especially not back in, what was it, 2012 when this game came out? We had this conversation before, but it's been like months. Yeah. I, I don't know. I just feel like the, uh... Well, first of all, a writing standards of, oh, it's a military conspiracy. That, that's a pretty tired trope, regardless of where you're at. But was it tired, like, a decade or two ago? Yes, it was It was pretty tired by that point, too. I don't know. I'd be willing to give it some leeway. Like, maybe less tired, but it was definitely tired. Well, when you're trying to introduce a magic system that you then have to make not a magic system... You're pretty limited to it was perception or it was the military or the government. Or just like crazy science. I, well, yeah, it's the military's crazy science. Mm. It's crazy science that only the government has access to. I.e. What I was saying before. I think we might be on the tail end. But that depends entirely on how this next mission goes. Uh, can I just... No. Wait. Oh. No, alright. I'll go around. Mm -hmm. Don't want to fuck up your car, Emily. Your love mob. I feel like that should be the license plate on York's vehicle. Maybe she also like, loves movies, and that's why they're a good match. She has said not one thing about a movie. Maybe she's, like, keeping it quiet. She doesn't want to show off her... She's TV. a huge nerd? Yeah. A she, huge cinemaphile? She's, like, trying to hide the fact that she's, like, nerdy, you know? We've talked about movies in her presence, though. Yeah. Or at least, like, actors. But, like, we Because we also... called Paul, like, we were talking to Polly, and it was like, ah, yes, it's a beautiful name. Just like, just like the one from the 60s, and acted in the movie. You tell me Emily's just like, <laughs> and not willing to actually talk about it? Maybe. This doesn't look like it. Does he lives in a motel? Yeah, he lives with his sister, and I think this hotel, uh, this apartment motel thing also houses, like, one or two other people that we know. Alright, let's go. What's up, George? Well, you don't look badly affected by the rain. I hope he's not with us. I hope he doesn't think going crazy. Cold. No, no, no. This, these are the bro. Like, this is our bro team. I sent Emily to get you right away. No idea who made the call. No. Also, we cleared them both. We saw their backs. We've seen no one else's back! A light did come on, but only for a second. I saw a tall male silhouette in the window. It was How do you know that? What were you doing in the area? I'm going in. That's some convenient timing. We'll be ready to burst in at any moment. Just call out. Thomas, where are you? Well, I found him. Once again, the gang kills the people we're trying to save. Zach, it's the same in the countryside after all. The climax of an investigation is always in an apartment. This is an apartment? It looked like a motel. It does look like a motel. But maybe that's because we live in high society, Texas. I mean, my apartment does... My apartment kind of looks like a fucking... Like, resort palace. Like, not really, sorry, like a... A resort, resort palace. It's not a little palace resort. We've got, like, the red root shingle tiles and volleyball court. Oh, 
fuck is Tom? It's also a duplex? Shut the fuck up. The song has already finished playing. What was this song? Return the needle. Hmm. Oh, it's time to start profiling. Let's go. Alright. Oh, it's dead sister time. What the fuck happened in this apartment? Dude, it's dead sister time. Yeehaw. <laughs> Yahoo! Yay! Yahoo! <laughs> BLJ to heaven. Let's go. Too much noise. You literally Still just restarted the song, York. Puzzle. It's too much noise. Fucking idiot. What? Red wig. This is mine uh. now. This confirms our suspicions. What? Carol isn't actually a redhead. What? How's what is that? It means Carol's blonde. Okay. <laughs> um. I'm gonna steal your shit. <gasps> Thomas's biscuit. <gasps> oh, it's a card. Oh. I was about to get so hype. Dude, if that was like, that would have been the coolest fucking item. Cherry pie. Thomas's biscuit is an item you can get in this game, though. It's oh. a super item. It's a super item? Full HP, your fucking stress level stays down for an extended period of time. It's fucking awesome. There was no- what the- door. That's not how you open a fucking door. That's a little better. Um, okay. That's me. That's me. Yeah. I guess it's going here. Another apartment. Oh. Footprints. Huh? Agent Honor, it was you! A series of boot prints. wears boots. I think everyone in the police force except for Emily does. Uh, I'm pretty sure George and Tom. Eh, it could be Tom's. Maybe. I've got no clue. Uh, it was Michael. It was me, Austin. Heavy cigarettes. Heavy cigarettes. That's a Carol item. Lollipops! Lollipop, lollipop, ooh, la 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 they were wet, which means the perfect did what? Shoes in the bathtub. They are wet, which means the person didn't have time to take them off. Like he took a bath with, with his, his shoes. shoes okay, let's profile. Let's see what happens. Thomas is a sociopath. I, I, at this point, maybe. Yeah. Who showers or bathes with shoes? Who doesn't have time to take off your shoes? If you want to make an argument for sleeping with shoes on, maybe. And that's a hard maybe. I mean, but showering? Alright, hold on, what's it doing? Oh, fuck. Hold on. Gotta lace up. Oh, I think either uh, Thomas might be pretending to have been his sister. 
<laughs> I am my sister. This wants us to look around for him a bit more. So there's more to it. Oh, that's yeah. right. Bonus footage on a DVD. I hope it's worth watching. Don't you agree, Zach? We are... Hi. What was that noise? I, I'll be honest, I don't know. We need to seal off all routes out of town. No need for that, George. Huh? If he was going to leave town, he would have done so by now. Which means he's still got some unfinished business. That's right. We are in tail end because now I remember exactly how much is left in the game. How much is that? Two dungeons. Three boss fights. Actually, there might be a third dungeon. But I remember the investigation scene beforehand. I think it's just two dungeon scenes, an investigation, and three boss fights. Interesting. And there's a scene that's happening before one of the boss fights that's pretty long, but... Yeah. Go, George! Look at that fucking ape. I am the one! <laughs> Good lord. We'll see. Zach, do you think they heard what I said? Maybe. We don't have to make a fuss. Thomas isn't going to leave town. Eh. That gives us plenty of time to find a way to view the bonus footage. Alright. Ooh. The world. And more people. Cruel device. Hell yeah. Oh shit, there's walls. There are. They're like limiting us. Oh no, it's fog, remember? Oh, yeah. Oh fuck yeah. Big car. Big, big car, big car, big car. Now, and to prove that we're in tail end and I know exactly what's happening, one of the dungeons, which we are heading to right now, hundred percent sure it's a bar, eighty percent sure it's the Galaxy of Terror. Hmm. And if I am right, meh, you know, we're almost done. Well, I mean, unless we like triple down on playing this game for the rest of the night, we might not finish it this session. Yeah. But we, we probably have like another session left. You think? Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Because it's almost getting time for the thing. True. Well, I'll get us to the bar and then, uh, sorry. Next time to oh, yeah. We're all a little Simpsons Road Rage there. I love the Simpsons Road Rage. You know that game had a GBA port? Uh, I think I'm vaguely aware of it. Oh, that's right. This happens before. <laughs> what? What the fuck? This. <laughs> it's kind of dumb, but. It's a conspiracy. The military. What the fuck? Are we about to have our fucking car stolen? No. I think this is how we find out that we have to go to the bar. Look at her. Ten frames a second. She goes. I thought that was a fucking rat just dying in the room. A halo rat. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I doing it? Why are we doing this on foot? That's a good fucking question, but we have to. At least we have to hear this song in its fullness. But we're gonna be doing this for a good minute. So maybe if you wanna finish that story of conquering. Oh. Oh, wow. Was that even. That wasn't this episode, was it? No, it wasn't. Uh. Or if you just have another story pilot. Or I could tell one of my DD stories. You tell a DD story. Um, let's see. Which one do you think would make good 
Tell them about the airship. <laughs> the airship. So, you know, we're, I'm doing a D&D 5e campaign right now. And uh, I'm playing as a, a charlatan-type fellow. And, you know, I don't really do shit in battle, but I am the guy that does what I want outside of battle. And we're in, like, this interdimensional marketplace. And just to show off how this is probably going to be the hub of shopping and that we would be coming back multiple times when we get infinitely richer, because, you know, we have some money at this point, but not a lot. Uh, they show off that they have an airship for sale. And I'm like, oh, an airship. Well, I want that now, but it costs, like, 50 bajillion gold pieces, and we only have maybe between all of us 10,000. Uh, oh, time for another lap. Uh, fucking... <laughs> so I'm like, hey, I want to purchase this. And I'm like, oh, okay, just show that you have the money. And I'm like, okay, so how do I con this man out of an airship? Because yeah. I, can, I, I can't just duplicate items right now. I'm a magician, but... Or, like, I, I, I can do parlor tricks, but I can't just make infinite money. But I do have this gem. I think it's like a ruby. And I use a bunch of, like, tricks of the eye and, uh, messing with the scale that he uses to weigh it to make it seem heavier. And say that it's a star ruby that's, like, heavy enough to be worth 100,000 gold and I'll pay the rest or something. Uh, and I'm... I'm, I'm lucky son of a bitch, because I got, like, high deception rolls and persuasion rolls and shit. Uh, you didn't give me a direction to run. So I'll just go right... Oh, there you are. Uh, and so I'm just like, yeah, this is a stu... And he's like... The DM is looking at me, looking daggers into me, and I'm just, like, sitting there with a big smile on my face, just like, I afforded it. <laughs> they believe me! And I conned my way into an airship. But this is now more important. <laughs> As a way of getting back at me, they made it so that that airship was like an old like battalion ship that belonged to like a high level devil. So that I'm now kind of like wanted. But doesn't discredit the fact that I basically legally stole an airship. Hell yeah. Because it's in my name. <laughs> I made sure before I left, in case I got tracked down, that I asked for receipts, asked for copies of deeds and shit. My, my favorite thing, uh, we had something similar happen in a campaign where uh, one of our party members got kidnapped by a member of the Thieves Guild. So we busted into the Thieves Guild and we're cracking their skulls and they're like, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. stop killing us. I almost became a goddess of the forest myself. As a reparation, like here's this place where we're gonna go rob. What do you you guys could totally go rob it instead. There's some cool shit in there. We're like, okay. Sure. And they're like, we'll even pay you to steal some shit from there for, for us. <laughs> and so we're like, okay. Whatever. So we go in and it was like it was like an arms dealer, so like we didn't feel guilty about robbing an arms dealer. Yeah. So we stole this really fancy golem, but then also, like, we were like, we interrogated one of the scientists, and he's like, there's a really expensive top of the line airship at the top of this. If you guys don't take it and go out with this stuff, the people who own this company are gonna fuck you. And we're like, oh, shit. Whoa. So we like, we're like, all right. So we went and grabbed the airship and like we fucked off with it and spent the whole campaign with this airship. But at one point, um, the Thieves Guild, because we kind of double-crossed them and fucked off with, like, way more than we were supposed to, the Thieves Guild went to the company after they'd been robbed and bought the stolen airship. So at one point, we are at a dock, and so the Thieves Guild rolls up, and they're like, hey, this is our airship. And then my idiot party member goes, fuck you, we stole this airship fair and square. <laughs> and oh, the no. town guards are like, uh, I'm sorry? And then it proceeded to become the greatest clusterfuck in all of existence. Uh, we literally had to, like, we got into, like, a f pseudo sort of fight with the guards. 
And one of our party members used a power that we didn't know he had, and he made the whole world explode. Er, not the whole world. He made this guy explode into basically a bioweapon disease that unleashed bioweapon disease all over the town, and then we got branded as terrorists. All because you wanted your stolen airship that fucking bad, huh? I I went to jail for a little bit. <laughs> I, I went to jail, and then while I was in jail, I met a new party member because there was some shenanigans or some people left the campaign while this was happening. Right. So I met a new party member as a pr friend in prison, like we were like talking, and then my mother-in-law came and bought me and paid my bail, and I didn't realize who she was, and she's like, hey, you're not like my super illegal assassin guy now. Get to it. And I was like, oh, okay. Sure thing, Mom. Moral of the story is next time in the kitchen, we're going on a bar crawl. Yeah, we're going to comb this bar, figure out what happened to Thomas, steal airships, I guess, because we're notorious for doing that. We are apparently airship thieves. Uh, but you know what you should steal? Some sleep. <laughs> no, I'm fucking around. I was going to say steal the hearts of uh, uh, the ones you've been... Yeah. Like the people you adore. Yeah, yeah. Reach out to someone. You know what? Text your right, mom. Right now, text your mom and text that girl and or guy that you like and just be like, Hey, what's up? What's up with you? Right now. Did you do it? Did you do it? If you haven't done it yet, we're waiting for you to do it. <laughs> we're not ending this video until you do it. Wait, what? You dropping your spaghetti everywhere? No, wait, oh. no, no, no. No, you don't. No, no, no. Don't cry. Don't, don't cry. No, no, no. no. Oh, uh, here, it, it'll on. be okay. Here, um, step, step over to the bar with us. We'll mix you a drink. Okay? All right, we gotta go take care of this. All right, we gotta go take care of this. This was a terrible mistake. Bye. Bye. Bye.